We found the beetles. morning exploring Aswan. First I want to figure out how to get the ferry across to the island. I asked the guy in the hotel, he said he doesn't know. The tourist hotel doesn't know. So next now I have to find where is the actual ferry. Okay according to Google Maps this is the roundabout and I think this is the ferry jetty to take me to the island. That is the Nubian Museum that I'm trying to get to and you can just see some of the ruins there. Alright, so here comes the wild goose chase. He said go to the other side, so I have to go around here now. This may be the one that I want. Again, you can see the museum there. That's the Aswan Museum. There's a ruin there. And there's, I think, the Nilometer there. Okay, so it does have a signage here. Okay, is this the right one or not? Okay, Shapiro. Just winding through these alleys trying to find the place. So trivia for the day, how do I go back through all those alleys to find the ferry back? There's a museum just there. He made it there before me, he's waiting for me, oh my god. <laughs> So I thought I could outsmart him, but he was waiting by the ticket office for me. And the museum's still closed right now, so he's still waiting for me. Um, so the ticket was 160 Egyptian pounds. So you can see some of the ruins behind the railing, so I guess I have to wait for them to let me in to go inside. Now the heat's starting to come up, it's just gone about maybe 8am now. Up until now it was fine. Now these, the heat's starting to come. Okay, so they do have a gate, so I can go in before the heat all rises, so that's the museum building. This is the southern part of the island, and so there's all these things around, so you don't just go to the museum, you have to walk around all of this, but I think the ticket lets you into the whole site. Okay, now there's another one, he's come, he's kind of following me. That's the old Cataract Hotel, where I think Agatha Christie wrote Murder on the Nile. So it is 8am, it's, it's still a little bit breezy, it's come early in the morning. So you can see, um, get here before the heat rises. And there's actually more outdoors, you see how big this site is, I mean it's probably more interesting than the museum. So this, this is quite big, this site, so you do want to come early morning before the heat is bad, otherwise you're not going to appreciate this in the heat. So the second or the third guy, I'm losing track now, so he's come here, he's offering to take photos for me. I just carried on walking away. I don't know if you're allowed into the town, but you can see these um, Egyptian statues inside that house. So I don't know if we're allowed inside all of that. So there's just a viewing platform here over the entire town and again this is 8.15 a.m. You cannot do this in the heat. There's the monastery of Saint Simeon on the, is that the West Bank? But I'm not going to that in the heat because you have to climb all the way up. There's several of them. If you look down, like even down there, there's another one at the top of the hill. And then there's all these caves and stuff, like I can't do all that in the heat. Like, you can kind of see in the distance there, those buildings, the, the, anyway. Okay, again, some more of these walkways. There's still a little bit of a morning breeze. It's quite, still quite comfortable right now. 
Okay, those were the statues, so yes, you can go down these stairs. And it's a little bit shady down there as well. So welcome to my humble abode. Um, apparently, no, you can't go in. So you can just look through the gate. And I don't know if they have one on the other side, because this is the wrong side. It's just in these ones we want to see. No, there's no... So I think we've done a 180 now. Maybe that guy works here. Maybe he's not hassling me. So here they've kind of drawn them in where the originals were, then you can see what's left, the feet there. And then there's different ones here. So I'm inside that temple. Okay, they sort of drew them in the middle. Okay, here's a good one. So he's pulling the bull here. You can see there's one bull here. And there's a couple more bulls down here. I thought I was done. I was waiting in the shade till 9am for the museum to open. And when I was slowly heading out, there's a whole other section here I didn't even come to. I'm guessing, I think this is the Nilometer because they said it was on the southern tip of the island. And then they would measure how much the Nile has risen. You can just about make out the Nilometer. These are the markings they come up. And as you can see, these, store, these stairs are very over, overworn from people coming down. And this is thorns overgrowing. So it's quite, well, it's not safe to come down. You have to be very careful. I came down on all fours and I have to try and go back up. You can kind of make it out. So as you can see, it goes up and down like that. And then those stairs are really worn out from all the tourists. And then that tree has thorns. So it nearly ripped my bag and I had to crawl on all fours. So I didn't have to wait, this museum is closed and there's all these kids that are chasing me off and they slam the doors shut and they keep saying closed, closed. So I guess I head back now on the f Okay. Okay, so the museum is just these two rooms here and he had to unlock it for me. So this is it, on the side of the building, so it's not the entire building. So he had the key, so he was the only one that could let me in. <laughs> And these kids are all still saying it's closed. So that was definitely the highlight and I ended up giving him a 20 pound, 20 Egyptian pound tip, which would be $1. Because he did after all follow me from the ferry all the way here and stalk me. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to get in because he was the only one with the key. So again, there's a little bit of the village. So that museum, there's only the two rooms at the side that you can go into. And I guess I'm going to follow my friends back. I have no idea how to get back. <laughs> okay. okay, so I found it. Just don't wander off too big because it's not that big. It's literally just there. But you have to go through all of the alleyways. So this was the ferry. You can just see the whiteboard there for the ferry. So you just come around this turn, then you can see the sign there for the Nubian Museum. It's just here, kind of. That's the old Cataract Hotel, and I believe those mud hills are the museum. So it's 200, but it says card only again. It says it was founded in response to international salvage campaign of monuments starting in 1960 into the 80s. It was flooded for the construction of the Aswan Dam. So this is talking about um, the heritage that was lost. So that was all indoors, it's a good way to stay out of the heat and now there's some architecture outside so I'll just briefly look at this as well.
I don't know if you can go inside the mud houses, like I don't want to walk around in the heat now. Okay, so they have gardens now, and then it's all walled, because I actually want to get over the wall through that cemetery to get to the unfinished obelisk. So I think I'm going to have to walk all the way around. He's going to go and wait in the shade by the other exit. I would have never found this on foot by myself, so it actually was worth bringing the taxi. This is 120 by credit card payment again. It's close to 11, it's starting to bake, so he's going to wait for me and take me back to the corner, so it'll be less walking. So we just have the top of the unfinished obelisk there. And just in the distance there you see there's the cemetery. And just behind the cemetery, that long brick building, is the Nubian Museum that we were just at. You can see one of the outdoor buildings there. So in theory it's just kind of straight. The way the road layout is because that whole cemetery is fenced off. You have to go all the way around and then in this heat, like, no, it's better to just come up by taxi. Like, I can't manage this kind of heat now. It's about 11am and it's starting to bake. So there's two, that's the unfinished one. And that one they took out, you can see the side face there. So there's two Ramses, one and two. So he's leading me around, he's gonna want money again. I think this is the head, you can kind of see some hieroglyphics there. Okay, he's found another guy, so we'll see if he's just being friendly or he's gonna ask us both for money. So the guy in the white is from India, he ran off, so I think he knows how, the, how it works. Um, he was trying to show me obelisk one and two, he wants me to go down in this valley here. I said, I'm not doing that. I think he cursed me and he walked off because I didn't give him any money. So you just exit through a tourist bazaar and you have to keep walking because they're going to keep hassling you. So he's waiting for me, he's going to take me back now. Now he's picked up somebody else. So I'm going to pay for him as well. He's just driving off. He's a very happy man. He made ten dollars to drop me back at the roundabout by the ferry terminal, which was just there. Okay, just across there, you can see the tomb of the nobles. So those kind of cave things there. So first you'd have to negotiate, um, you see a boat coming, the fare to get across and then you have to climb all the way up in the heat, so I'm not going to do that. And at the top, I don't know if that's the Aga Khan mausoleum, but I'm not doing it in this heat. So just in front of the railway station, the souk begins, this covered walkway. And it will go for about two kilometers to so just stay on the main one and don't go into the branches because you might get lost. So I don't want to start filming when I get into the busy park because they're all going to start hassling me. They already hassle me without a camera. Okay, he's gone to look for more merchandise. So that picture that I got scammed and paid £1,300 for, he's saying it's £350. All that BS about my daughter's getting married and this is her fiancé and bring them good luck. Well, Okay, we're just going to close at the Aswan Museum where we started first thing in the morning at 8am. So thank you for watching. Check out my other videos from my trip to, trip to Egypt. I did the Cairo Metro, the sleeper train from Cairo to Aswan. Um, I'm going to be doing more stuff. The two night cruise to Luxor, more stuff from Luxor. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, I'll be posting more.